Denver. It's week 11 of the NFL on EA Sports. the Denver Broncos taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Just a short time ago, sounds loud enough to reverberate across the Rockies. They're ready for football in Denver as the Broncos get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Chargers. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Brings up third and inches. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And he's got a man open, that's Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Chargers first down. Draw play, it's Eckler. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. That's into the hands of Eckler. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And it's third down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He goes full extension, and he's got it. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Herbert. And he's got it complete to Anderson. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That's good for 28 yards. At the 6-yard line. Okay, I'm not so great at math, but I just looked over at our statistician, Marvin, and he signaled to me 5 for 5 to get things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what do you do defensively to adjust? Well, this is where you've got to make a decision as, your defensive, as a defensive coordinator. Do you really get after the quarterback? Or maybe you tighten down on the receivers, bump the ball for their routes, chip away at their timing so things aren't as precise as they've been so far in this game. Play action. It's Herbert. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. To Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen. His Here's the 
Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Eckler, the Charger ball. Now this, of course, a division game, but Charger head coach Anthony Lynn, no stranger to the Bronco organization. He spent four of his six seasons as a player in a Bronco uniform, and, and in fact, he has two Super Bowl rings to prove it from 1997 and 98. On second down, Eckler. Austin Eckler. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. At the 34 yard line. A five yard pickup on the play. And it's third down. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. And that will be incomplete. Intended for Keenan Allen. Incomplete. Broncos new signee for 2020, Sam Martin, former Lion, on to punt. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And they'll get to this and down it inside the 25 at the 24-yard line. At their own 24-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in the conference. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 23 yards the pick up there. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Austin Eckler, the intended target. And it's second down. It's second down and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Seven, Broncos three. The Chargers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. The play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away and now a low liner I think he mishit him this is fielded at the 27 and he is finally out of bounds but not before taking it down inside the 30 well we looked at each other right when he flinched we knew that that flag was coming yeah offsides easy call mark off the five and keep it moving this is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. At their own Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaim center stage. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And right side, Henry's got it. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. No, he didn't spike it. He faked it. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And this is caught. So he fakes the spike, and they get the touchdown. They started on the ground with Eckler. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Now a play fake here on first down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41, and they are going to set up shop. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. He'll have a first down past the 40. Fights through and now a crease. And all the way down to the 25-yard line. It's a big one there for the Chargers. And even 50 yards. One of the reasons that this team is on this win streak, big runs like that. When you see runs like that broken off, you know this is a team that's confident running the football. A big reason why this streak has occurred, they come together, had a plan, and stuck to it. And when you get big-time runs like that, it makes it easier to stay with it, doesn't it? It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Here's Herbert. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Going on the ground with Eckler. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, his 11th touchdown of the year. Now Eckler. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Second down. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10. At the 24. Here's Herbert now on second down. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. Herbert. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. This is caught inside the 15. And they're going to have this way down deep in Denver territory. First and goal at the nine-yard line. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point. You want the third quarter on? Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Denver. 
He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Back to throw here, Herbert. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Vaughn Miller in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Herbert. His throw incomplete. It was Bryce Callahan jarring the ball free defensively. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Herbert off of play action, looking deep downfield. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons, and this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Sam Martin now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies. And that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football, they're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Going down the middle, and it's complete. Herbert's bad. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic, well over 100 yards. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Jarrell Casey just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Oh, he fakes a spike. On Herbert, his third interception. Picked off by Prince Amukamara. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of... Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. And after the loss to start out, here's second and 11. It's Eckler again. And this Bronco defense really selling out to stop the run, and it pays off. They get him behind the line twice in a row. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. Herbert sack. Fake the handoff, now Herbert. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? Seven. Brings up second and three. Option play, and they'll give to Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. The 48-yard line. A gain of five. First down, Charles. Herbert now. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Bradley Chubb. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. Seven yards on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you either throw the touchdown or you throw the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw, and a good one. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Off the play fake. Herbert, he's going to air one out, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Herbert, oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that is caught, and he has now tied the record. Touchdown. Touchdown, Los Angeles. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a... slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Charles, you said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. Oh, he didn't spike it. He faked it. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And the Chargers first down. Here is Heckler. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Austin Heckler, the ball carrier. He was taken down at the 50-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Second and six. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Justin Simmons on it carries the like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball. Keep their off. And that is caught. And the record is his. It's a touchdown. 19. Touchdown, L.A.
ground it's Eckler and only able to get two here stopped at the 30. Brandon I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces and, and I know it sounds crazy but they practiced for this back in training camp they knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game right now they want to show the world they're up to the challenge a short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. The ball carrier. Back to back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Third down, here's Eckler. They find some open field here. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets them into a third and one situation. Seven yards. And it's third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Give them a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Try to punch it in with Eckler. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be second and goal at the three-yard line. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Mike Williams. They'll run here with Eckler. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And this time, not quite to the... on offense they can't help but feel great about themselves can they i mean what a game to put up that number of points continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them and as an offensive coordinator you just don't think you can do anything wrong whatever you call run pass it's all gonna work that's called being in the zone so for the Chargers, they continue to put themselves in position for a first round bye as they move to eight and two. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Meanwhile, for Denver, they're going the wrong way as this will drop them to three and seven now on the year. And they'll try to make amends next week as they host the New Orleans Saints. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, as we say so long from Denver.